Horizon Technology is a well-established company celebrating 20 years developing equipment to help laboratories improve sample preparation processes such as extraction, extract drying, and evaporation or concentration. In this video, we'll be talking about oil and grease extraction and analysis. Horizon provides two products for this task. The 3000, which has three positions, and the 1000, which has one position and can act as a sort of personal oil and grease extraction system. Oil and grease analysis using automated solid phase extraction and following US EPA method 1664B can be accomplished very easily with the SpeedX 1000 single placement system. We will discuss each of the four steps necessary and then see the instrument in action. In step one, the disk is pre-wet or conditioned with solvent to make it ready for the sample. In step two, the sample from its original sample bottle is processed through the SPE disk. In step three, solvent is used to rinse the sample bottle to ensure that all of the sample is extracted. In step four, the disk is extracted and the analytes are in the small volume of solvent rather than in the large volume of water where they started. Once the method is confirmed, the four steps can be performed with the touch of a button. Now, let's see the instrument in action. Hi there. My name is Vincent, and I'm going to be talking about the SpeedX 1000 designed by Horizon Technology. This system is specifically designed for extracting oil and grease under EPA 1664. The, the best aspects of this machine is that it can use the original sample bottle that you may have, and we have specifically designed cap adapters to accommodate your sample bottle. We also have specifically designed SPE discs to extract all N-hexane extractable materials, as well as uh, hexane extractable materials that are not absorbed by silica gel. It is also a bench top design that takes up very little space on your bench can deliver solvents automatically and it reduces uh, solvent costs as well as labor costs. So here's the controller that is connected to the SpeedX 1000. You can easily go into this controller and find the method that you want to use. There are pre-programmed methods as well as customize, customizable methods that you could use. And you can easily choose your method, press start, and hit yes and it'll begin your process. So here are our two SPE disc holders. This is a 47 millimeter holder and this one is a 100 millimeter holder. The difference between the two is that for a smaller disc holder it is more suitable for clean samples whereas the bigger disc holder can take care of high particulate samples such as influent waste uh, for example. We have two different types of disc. One's a 47 millimeter and one is a 90 millimeter. SPE so to disc. assemble your SPE disc into your disc holder, just unscrew it as such. And here's your SPE disc supporter, which is a fine mesh screen. Put the disc in as such and simply screw it back on like so. To begin your method and assemble the apparatus, grab your disc holder with your SPE disc inside and place it on the disc holding platform. Grab the pre-wet arm and lift it up and place it into your disc holder. Each disc holder has a gasket that forms a seal with your disc holding platform. Then grab your collection vessel and place it underneath and twist tightly, and then grab your blue clip and secure your collection vessel. Once you have your water sample prepared, grab your water inlet valve and screw it on top of your sample bottle. Grab your bottle, place two fingers on the two holes here just to form a seal with the water sample bottle. 
turn it over, ensure that there are no leaks, and place it onto your SpeedX 1000. Yep. Once the disc has done preconditioning, the sample will begin to process. This process takes about a couple minutes depending on how dirty your sample is. Once your sample is done processing, you may proceed to the concentration step unless your regulatory authority requires that you proceed to a drying step prior to that. Before you proceed to the concentration step, if your regulatory agency allows, you may drain the excess water shown here in the bottom as it is heavier than hexane and drain it with the sub funnel through the bottom to get rid of any residual water left. So here I am draining out the excess water through the sub funnel. You want to drain as much water as possible without losing any extracts. Once that's done, pour the extract into pre in a pre-weighed pan into the speed valve. with a small amount of solvent and swirl it around to capture all of the compounds to achieve the highest recoveries. Remove the excess water from the bottom. Pour this now into the pre-weighed pan and repeat two You want to make sure that no excess water is poured into the pre-weighed pan. Close the cover, apply pressure to the lid, and turn on your compressed air. Turn up your pressure for the compressed air and make sure you have a tight seal on the speed valve. And now, wait until concentrate. When the last few milliliters of extract are in the pan, that signals you to turn off the speed valve and remove the pan from the heat source and place it on the bench to finish the evaporation process without losing volatility. Any oil and grease compounds will be evident by this white precipitate or depending on your water sample would be a different color. Now you want to weigh your pan and subtract the initial empty pan value from the full pan value to obtain your gravimetric hexane extractable result. You have completed the measurement of N hexane extractable material. If you also need to determine the amount of silica gel treated N hexane extractable material, or the nonpolar portion of the material, you'll follow these steps and we'll show you how. First, you will reconstitute the evaporated extract in the weighed pan. You'll drain the extract through a prepared silica gel bed into a pre-weighed clean pan. You'll evaporate the hexane as you did before, and you'll weigh the pan with the residue. Here's the apparatus setup you would need in order to extract the hexane extractable material that is not absorbed by the silica gel. First, you would pre-weigh 3 grams of silica gel, and you would need some glass wool to stuff into your funnel. And condition your glass wool with a little bit of hexane. Once that is done, pour your silica gel on top of the glass wool. And condition your silica gel with a little bit of hexane again. To obtain your SGTHEM value, you want to reconstitute your previous pan with hexane and pour this solvent through your silica gel funnel. Repeat the constitution step three more times. This solvent will drip into a pre-weighed clean pan below. This is 
the end product of concentrating down your SGT HEM portion. As you can see, there's a glossy, oily substance. Now you want to weigh your pan and subtract the initial empty pan value from the full pan value to obtain your gravimetric silica gel treated n hexane extractable material result. In this video, we've seen how to determine n hexane extractable material or oil and grease using method 1664 revision B and how to determine silica gel treated n hexane extractable material by extraction and gravimetry. If you have any other questions on this material, don't hesitate to check out our website or give us a call for more information.